And so whereas at first I thought of the, uh, the strikes of 1988 as being kind of a, um, a herald over the return of solidarity, solidarity is getting reinvigorated by new blood. This poem and others like it showed me that it was actually the death knell of solidarity. I had to go back and rethink the strikes of 1988. These workers, they're kind of stripped of community and of, of movement. Um, they're isolated, they don't have the kind of support, um, and they don't think of themselves as having the kind of support that uh, they once clearly had in 1980. And secondly, these poems and the calls to action and so on that appear in their uh, leaflets at the same time period don't really have a plan of, of action of any kind. In Gdansk, they're asking for political prisoners to be freed and also for spreading anarchism. And that's going to turn out to not be particularly competitive on the larger field of contestation that the strikes are going to help create. They're going to succeed in the sense of creating, you know, it's because of the strike in this particular mine, the July Manifesto mine, that of solidarity and the communist leaders agree to negotiate. Wojnowski has to come to this mine, after all of Poland has stopped striking, he has to come to this mine and say, guys, stop striking, I understand your concerns, I'm going to bring them to the communists and we're going to make them listen to us and they very reluctantly agree to stop striking. As if they bring solidarity to the finish line, but they collapse at falling over in their hand, just touching the finish line um, of a marathon, let's say. But then that's it, and others go on ahead without them, and the workers are really left behind. And I really did not understand that uh, until I spent a week in, um, in Yastembia talking to workers and understanding their experiences.